Hi loves, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, I'm going to give you guys 5 seconds to go ahead and hit that subscribe button. Alright, and if you're already part of the family, welcome back. This video is going to be my style predictions for this year of 2022. If you want to know my style predictions for this year, then keep on watching. There's really no proper order to go by this and just to give you guys the background of me I love fashion. I think I'm on fashion pages on Instagram pretty much all day every day I'm on YouTube Sometimes on Pinterest on Twitter like there's so many outlets that I go for as far as just predicting what we're going to expect this year as far as fashion and pieces and I think I've already got my compilation of all of the new and probably the still the same style predictions for this year. So we are gonna start off with number one, and that is edgy, dark, slash moody fashion. I don't know if you guys have been seeing, but a lot of brands, high-end brands, have been promoting more dark and edgy fashion pieces. It kind of gives me emo. I definitely have been seeing a lot of Prada, Rick Owens, I can just name, like I can just keep going and going and going of all of these brands that have been really, really just, you know, pushing the limit when it comes to these edgy, edgy pieces. And honestly, it's not for me, it's not my style. It depends on the piece, if that makes sense. But some of the pieces that I've been seeing on the runway are not something that I would wear, but I know people that could rock that and it would look good on them. So I definitely wouldn't be surprised if I see more of those type of, you know, pieces out out in the public soon, very soon. Number two is large and oversized handbags. I am not a fan of the large handbags. I I don't know why. I just, I'm the type of person to go like either medium, sometimes small, but I'm really a more of a medium girl. I just think of like medium is a type of size where you can do a lot with. You can go to the grocery store with you can go to the club with, you can go to an outing with, you can go on a date with. Large bags tend to bring a lot of attention to you and I don't want that. And obviously I am tall so it wouldn't look bad on me but I feel like if I have a large bag, I'm just gonna stuff everything in my life in that bag and I just don't wanna do that. And then it, it tends to just be heavy because it's on your shoulder or you're holding it by your hand. And for me, that's an inconvenience. I don't wanna be uncomfortable holding a bag but i definitely see a lot of people a lot of celebrities nowadays are wearing large and oversized bags it's in guys it's in the teflar bag i don't know if i'm saying that right but those bags you've seen them all over they're mostly oversized bags that i've been seeing out in public and they really really look nice i might dip in one i might who knows but for now i think i'm gonna stick to like my medium size bags but that is Style prediction number two. Style prediction number three is long slash short gloves. I don't know if you guys have been seeing it, but gloves are everywhere. And I know it's a winter time thing, hopefully, but I've been seeing Kim Kardashian, Rihanna, Sierra, like so many like celebrities wearing gloves. It could be like real, real thick, durable gloves, or it can be like, you know, silk silhouette gloves. It doesn't matter, but I still see a lot of celebrities wearing gloves. Now, I hope I don't see the same celebrities wearing gloves in the summertime because that can probably un be uncomfortable. But I definitely love the whole glove look. Um, obviously, with Kim Kardashian being one of the best fashion icons out here right now. So you see her wearing these gloves all the time, and obviously, you know, it looks good on her. So, yeah, gloves are definitely in. Gloves are definitely in. I don't know if I'm gonna invest in buying a glove but it looks cute on the girlies so yeah that is number three number four is and i feel like number four has always been in style since like i don't know 2019 but number four is cat suits guys cat suits are in and I want to make sure that people know the difference between cat suits and jumpsuits. Jumpsuits are more um, loose fitting, 
and cat suits are more tight more it gives it more of more of a sex appeal you know like cat woman so cat suits guys are in i have so many cat suits i love cat suits the good thing about cat suits that i love is that they're very versatile they are a type of piece that i can wear down and there's a type of piece that i can wear up i can wear this with heels and I'll, i can also wear this with sneakers or with like you know doc martens it's really really a good good type of piece to have in your closet pretty much for the next i don't know for me i don't even think this is just going to be this year i think cat suits are going to be in for another two or three years it's a really 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 adorable cute you're not doing too much type of piece so that's number four number five which i think started also in 2020 is bold colors i've been seeing a lot of people in like highlighter yellow green orange pink you know neon colors and i'm not gonna lie i'm i'm more of a neutral color type of girl i sometimes dive into the bold colors when it gets warmer out you know during the summertime but i'm not gonna lie some of these you know pieces that i've been seeing together are actually looking really really nice it's not looking too much and i definitely think that you're going to see a lot of bold colors this year especially when it starts to get warmer outside because you know spring is really around the corner so i wouldn't be surprised if you see so many bold colors this year so that is number five number six and number six i'm not really feeling i'm not really feeling number six because number six is not my type of vibe but I've been seeing a lot of people wear them and that's on them. It looks good on them. It just, I don't, I don't think it would look good on me, but <laughs> number six is feathers. I've been seeing so many people wear like blouses with feathers, you know, suits with feathers. I am not a fan. I don't think I will. You guys, you know what, you know <laughs> what I would look like wearing a suit with feathers? Big Bird literally i would look like big bird and i'm not trying to do that i'm not saying that feathers is not a good thing to wear but i'm saying for me personally being a 6'4 woman slim woman i just don't think it would look good on me I i'm not saying i would never try but the the chances of me even buying a piece that has feathers on it, it it's slim to none that's that's what I'm gonna say. But I've been seeing a lot of celebrities wear feathers, even like the little, um, like the feather cufflings around the wrist, to give it more of that look that they have feathers on their clothes. I just, you know, to each his own. I just, it's just not my style. But I definitely have researched, and they are saying that feathers are in this year. So if you see more feathers online, I told you so. <laughs> All right, and the last one. And I think this has always been in pretty much for like the last five years is sparkle and metallics. I am a fan of more metallics than sparkle. I don't know if you guys have been seeing the Balenciaga sparkle bags or the Prada sparkle bags. That's not really my type of vibe, but I, I do own like metallic boots, like knee high boots. That's more my style, more of like shoes. And, it's, and it has to be in a color where it can get like go along with a lot of different colors, a lot of different top, you know, type of pieces. But I've been seeing a lot of sparkly bags, a lot of sparkly tops, a lot of sparkly pants and shoes. Now to say that I'm gonna wear something like that, it's probably like, mm, no, I'm probably not. You know, who knows? I always, I always try to amaze myself and surprise myself by changing and spicing things up a little bit, but I'm just not that type of girl that would have the Balenciaga or the Prada sparkly bag. I just feel like that might be out of style soon. So I try not to buy pieces that I know are only gonna last me a year or kind of be in for a year. You wanna, you wanna buy long lasting items in your closet, you know? Think of your shoes, your, your boots, your clothes and all that stuff as an investment. Like this is stuff that you're gonna wear for years. Not something where you're gonna look back a year from now and be like, mm why did i get that again oh because it was trending of the year 2022 <laughs> no guys let's try and you know make sure that you think properly list out the pros and cons of why you want this bag and why might the bag not be you know something that you you need so definitely weigh out your options and definitely think about it before just buying you know the bag 
but yeah that that is my number seven sparkle and metallics it's in guys and i wouldn't be surprised that you start seeing that a lot more in the next couple of weeks so guys this is it that is my seven predictions for the year of 2022 i hope you guys enjoy this there will be more content on the way like i said in the beginning of the video don't forget to subscribe because we're coming in hot this year all right loves bye Thank you.